Hello, Randy Rain here, and this is going to be a first. I usually deal with toys from the 70s and 80s, and they're always plastic. Maybe sometimes they're metal gears inside, but here, this is a tin toy. Everything is tin. This came out in the 50s. This is an Alps drinking bear. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I love the drinking bear automaton. It's really cool. I've always wanted to make one of my own, but I'm going to give this one a shot. See if I can get it going. The paint on here looks amazing. That looks brand new. It doesn't turn on. And there's a lot of rust here. Doesn't look too bad though. You know, you can see how old it is. It says UM1s for batteries. Instead of D batteries, it tells you to use UM1. The fur probably doesn't look all that great, but everything else does. But in here is a tube, and the tube is completely rotted away. I can see if you, the what's rattling around in there is broken tube. There's some right here. Here's a piece. Here's the tube. It's just shattering into pieces. I don't know, it's just a neoprene or something? I'm not sure. So this is going to have to come off just to get to this tube because that's how it works is it really does pour it pours water into here and then this arm goes down and this comes up to pretending to drink but it just really flows back down to here and it just keeps doing it over and over so I'm going to have to replace that tube and I can see metal gears down inside of here but hopefully I don't have to get into there Maybe I just have to get in down here. See about the the motor. These tabs have been bent already. Looks like somebody might have already tried to do this. Well, there's one reason why it doesn't work. The wires aren't even connected anymore. I'm pretty sure those need to be connected. Huh, I wonder if someone just did that. Tried to fix it. Doesn't know which way to put them back. Which way they go. I'm sure I'm not getting to the motor though. These are going to have to come up. Okay. Well, that didn't get me very far. I like this part. This is the tail. There's just a hole there. You just shove some, some of the fur in there. And that makes the tail. <laughs> That's funny. But it's all going to have to come off, it looks like. And I'm going to have to at least take this back one off to get in there to see something. Some more of the tube fell out. So all of this back fur is going to have to come off. And it looks like the glue is that's holding it isn't doing much of a job anymore. But it goes all the way up the arm up here. Looks like some of it's sewed. Well, you see what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's sewed right there. Hmm. I'm not really sure what to do. Maybe take this off. Oh, look at that. tape off. Well, that's cool. There's 
don't know what to do here. No idea what's going on with these legs. Mm -hmm. There it goes. There. That's good enough. Luckily the glue is just gone, I'm just crumbling, it's just turning into dust. That helps. Looks like his eyes li might light up or something. There's wires going to his eyes, or to his head. Can't seem to find the end of the tape, so. Hmm. I thought maybe it might have like a valve, but it doesn't. <laughs> so there's like this little door here. So you can get to the gears and see they're all metal gears. Hmm. The motor's right there. Wonder. Got to bend all the way down. Okay, this still hasn't helped me any. I think the motor just might be an open motor. It's definitely not, not like a standard thing you see nowadays. Maybe now. Oh, come on. What else is holding you? Jeez. Oh, All right, here's what I propose to do. 
is I'm going to WD-40 down in here. Because I'm going to assume red is positive and the blue is negative. But I just want to hit the brushes. Got an eye out. Only one eye is working. Now the WD-40 is all fine and dandy to get it going, but I'm gonna put three and one oil everywhere. Okay, we are good to go. Oh my god. I just realized that the eyes are the light bulbs themselves with some black spot on them. This is the one that supposedly wasn't working. I wonder if it just wasn't making good contact. But I'll just screw this eye back in. Make sure this one's nice and tight. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Okay. Why don't they make these still? Or just the shape of that bulb? I want that bulb. That's cool. It's that black. It's not painted on there. That is a black pl uh, glass. That's glass. That is so cool. Okay, I guess I can put this part back together. I don't think I need this undone to do the tube. I don't think. I think I'll be able to run it through here. Okay, these tabs went in there. That tab there and there. go in there. I can't see crap. Okay, got one. Too many times.
Let's see if I can make the bear go. Oh yeah, there's a little spring that goes right here. Got to attach that. Yeah. Okay, time to run the tube. All right, I found this. It's a synthetic latex, which is weird. I don't know why you would call it synthetic latex, but it's just a petroleum-based rubber. And it's the only thing I could find locally. So I'm going to start here. This goes, slides to there. We need some tape. Okay, I should have probably done this first. Well, I should have definitely done this first. That doesn't want to go through there at all. And I assume it goes behind all of the stuff. There's no clear way. So that's what I'm guessing. This sits here. Cut there. Mm, this is an interesting thing. Slips under there. Down. All right, I guess I'm going to go with hot glue. I don't know what else to use. I guess you want to be able to, to fix it again at some point. That's not very permanent. There's little spikes there to grab this. That's funny. Just put a little hot glue right there. Shove this tail back in here. Oh, yeah.
Hmm. Well, that's not easy. Maybe I should do it this way. Go ahead and get these in. There. There, I push that one down, so those aren't coming out. Let me try that. Push those down. There. These two are in. All right, that's pretty close. I think I'm just going with that. This is negative. Right here. Okay, so it drinks cola here. Cola's brown. And so brown is all of the primary pigments. Blue, yellow, red. So I'll start with red. Okay. And I don't have any blue and yellow, but blue and yellow make green. See what that does. Oh yeah, that looks like cola to me. So there it is, the Alps drinking bear made in Japan sometime in the 1950s. It's actually pretty easy to fix. I mean, as long as the gears were still good, I can figure it out. I mean, I can get the motor going and any of the other pieces I can fix. Even the plastic, if I needed to remake those, I could make that. It's just those metal gears. But those were all good. Hey, it was actually pretty easy. So, you ready to see it in action? Well, here we go. Well, that's it. If you like this video, I sure would appreciate a big thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, hit the subscribe button. I want to thank these people here. These are patrons. These are people helping me out. These are the people that brought you the Alps drinking bear. So if you wanted to see what out, what's inside of an Alps drinking bear, thank these people right here. I sure do. So and if you want to become one, I'm sure, of course, there's links and all that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.